Daily we use Printavo in so many different ways. We are able to command our whole team on what they're supposed to do next, just through tasks, through the flipping of statuses. Hopefully everyone's using those tools. But we have so many people here using Printavo, I needed to figure out deeper ways to connect with them. Also, deeper ways to connect with the customer. So I've figured out some really cool little tips and tricks here to use Printavo from that aspect. So the first thing we're gonna be looking over is the invoice notes. There's two kinds of invoice notes. We've got our static invoice notes that goes on everyone's invoices. Then you have the per invoice note. Um, both are seen by the customer. Just one goes per invoice. The other one goes on all invoices. So just remember that when you're planning out what kind of content to put within that invoice note notes. You know what I mean? Let's do it. All right, guys, let's start a new quote. And as you can see, we put our customer in. We're selling Bruce some shirts. He's only gonna buy one of them for $1,000 because I know he'll pay it because he likes me. All right, so in here, if you notice what I did down here, see how it says all approved orders are subject to terms and conditions and privacy. I went ahead and put a value for the customer down here at the bottom so they realize what we're giving them for free. All orders include free setup output and setups. That's a $20 value per color per side. All right, and that's that's very important for them to see that, and it adds value to your relationship. Where I did that was in the My Count settings. Just scroll down till you see the terms and conditions. That is not seen to the customer in any way. That is only in the back end of Printavo. So really, you can put whatever you want there. We went ahead and put the same information, but as you can see with hyperlinks out, we used old school HTML code to link them back to our site. And we also attached our privacy uh, link there as well. The reason we do this is we don't want a customer to open up this invoice and see a bunch of noise underneath the price of the shirts. They're the decision-making process and you don't want anything to distract them from that. We clean it up by using hyperlinks. It also brings them back to the site. It's also a great reminder to show them that all approved orders are subject to those terms and conditions. That way they are reminded that at the beginning of your orders, hopefully, they're in the middle. There should be no confusion about that. I really think it's important to remind a customer of the value that you're actually adding to that order. If you just add something for free and they never knew they got that thing for free, they don't they won't really hold that in weight of maybe going with someone else. Um, also, it's a good way for them to feel that you're taking care of them. So I think that anytime you have an opportunity within any invoice, state what you're actually giving away within that price. We all like to see value, they like to see value. You should be selling this like you like to buy things. Totally makes sense. Let's go back and look at any quote, any old quote. Down, you see all these things going on, but at the bottom you can see this information now lives visible to the customer. It is pretty, and they're gonna love that they're seeing that. All right, like I said before, that invoice note was a global invoice note. We're now gonna jump into the individual invoice note. This is important because maybe you have a customer who sent you a list of names of the kids that are getting t-shirts from their church and they have the small, medium, large, and they wanna be able to reference that against the order. Maybe you want to uh, communicate to an artist that they need to create the art similar to these examples. You can actually link in, I don't know, uh, links in from Google Images. You can, any link you want on the internet, we're gonna put that in there. So everyone involved will be on the same page. Now this action is done at the invoice level. It's done onto the notes right here. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is go into those notes and you'll see that I added a simple hyperlink out to the Google spreadsheet. And this is where he can see why we came up with these numbers. We have a fulfillment center, so we're able to put all the charges into one lump sum because that's the way that customer likes to see that. Also, we wanna show him why we got to that end result as far as pricing goes. So he can click on that and see month to month a spreadsheet in Google. Remember, this is only for this customer. This will only show up on this invoice or if you were to duplicate this invoice. And again, the customer will be able to click here and see that information. Actually, there's one more thing I wanna show you. There's a couple more places this trick actually works. Remember, this goes down to the invoice level. This is only gonna affect this invoice, but maybe you wanna put something right here with the same information like that of, maybe a kind of ink you need for this project or examples of other prints that are like this. Or maybe they have a picture of a past shirt on their website. I know you can upload these here as well, but sometimes it's nice to have really crisp links out so your production people can click on that and see what are we trying to achieve with this information. In any case, after you put any sort of links inside here, save it, 
and you're good to go. Use the invoice notes, use the production notes, throw HTML code all over that. Do whatever you need to convey value to that customer, communicate with your team, throw it in there. It's way easy. It's worth knowing. Do it.